No wonder your wife isn't proud of you. No wonder your wife is ashamed to be your wife. It hurts, doesn't it? Really fucking hurts. Absolutely kills when you wake up from that daydream. That slug you've been having. When you come to that full realisation that you're not the man. You're not the man that your wife married. All those years ago, your wife looked at you differently. Now you're lucky if she even looks at you twice. Can you remember those days? <clears throat> because right now, when she comes home in the evening, she opens the door, she gets greeted by the dogs, walks past, starts cooking doesn't even acknowledge your existence but you're there and you're totally cool because you just gone up a few rankings on Call of Duty oblivious of what's actually going on in your life oblivious of the fact that your belly has got bigger you've gone up a couple of waist sizes you don't have the energy you had before you don't have the focus you had before you don't have the drive you had before you don't have the desire for sex that you did before. But that's cool if you want to be selfish. It's just cool if you want to be that man you are now. But how's that working for your marriage? Honestly. How is that working for your wife? And when you're honest with yourself, how is that actually? How is it working for you? And it hurts. It hurts a lot. Remember when your wife used to come home and the first thing she would be is, Hey baby, I'm so happy to see you. Jump on you for a hug, for a kiss. All that time when, when you came home last and she was waiting for you in some sexy lingerie in the bedroom. Remember that time? when you could please her so much but now you've forgotten what she even sounds like when you please her even when you just make her happy and it didn't happen overnight but it hurts it is such a horrible feeling it's scary and it kills you because ignoring it just makes it worse. Awareness is the first thing to fixing it. To fixing all those pounds of fat you've put on. To fixing the fact that you have grown older, which we all do. But you've let your testosterone levels slide more than they ever should have. Awareness is the first key to fixing this. But awareness is all well and good. What happens after awareness is procrastination because it hurts when you know your wife doesn't look at you the same that she did on her wedding day. The same as she did on your wedding night. The same as she did the first time she saw you naked. It hurts to know how far you've got to go how far, how hard you have to work. It hurts because you say you don't know who you have to be in order to get there. You don't know what you have to do in order to get there. But you do. You know how to be healthy. You know because you were that person before. And it's scary to think that you are going to have to go back there to please her. It is scary. It is scary sometimes to think that you're going to have to put in some work to please her. But awareness is the first key. Awareness is the first 
key to getting there. It is the first step. Then it's getting over that procrastination. And you're probably thinking, what a prick saying this video. He doesn't know anything of what it's about. He doesn't know anything of what it's like when my wife doesn't even see me when she comes home from work. When she looks at other guys on the TV, when she pays more attention to first dates, to Love Island, than she does me. I do. Because I had to have this conversation with myself a few years back. I'd let myself get out of shape. I've told people about that. And it hurt to get back into decent shape. It hurt a lot. But what hurt more was the fact that my wife didn't love me like she used to. It hurt. So much. But what I'd done was get aware. I got awareness around the situation I was in. Yes, I started to procrastinate, but I got accountability. I wrote my plan to get back into decent shape, to get back to being that guy that my wife fell in love with, that she couldn't keep her hands off. I wrote that plan, but I've written millions of plans for myself. I don't follow them if I write them. I follow them when I get someone else to keep me accountable. My plans work, I know that. So I paid someone to make me do the plan that I wrote. But let me tell you something, getting accountable is one thing. Knowing that pain of your wife not looking at you like she used to is one thing. But that feeling, that feeling when she starts to love you again, you think you can't afford that feeling, you're the one being selfish. If you think it's too expensive to treat your wife to the guy you used to be, you're being selfish. Stop living in this scarcity mindset. Your health should be abundant. Your mind towards your health should be coming from a place of abundance. You have what it takes to get back to that guy that she fell in love with. It is up to you to put in the work. If you need the right plan, if you need accountability, then get in touch with me. Let's see if you're a fit. Because I'm tired of people coming to me saying, Ollie, I need your help, I need to change. But they're not committed. Not even ready to invest in themselves, let alone their wife, let alone their marriage, let alone their family, let alone their kids. If you're ready, like seriously ready, give me a message. Or go to revitalizationblueprint.com forward slash let's talk. Because you don't have to hurt like you do now. I promise you that.